Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Asim, and today I'm going to talk about Android pen testing. Uh, we will be continuing the series, and specifically we will be talking about insecure broadcast receivers. Don't don't get intimidated by the terms. I'll be talking about what broadcast receiver is and every other thing. Quick like quick life update. I just shifted to Bangalore last month, and I've been setting up this thing so. I was a bit busy and couldn't make a video for like almost two months now. I will try to continue making videos every week from now. So yeah, this is the first of that. You'll be seeing more interviews coming up with. Uh, I have lined up few interviews few, uh, from some of the industry leaders and people who have been working here in India as well as abroad. So stay tuned to our channel and make sure you subscribe to it so that you get all those content. Let's come back and see this. So, this is insecureshopapp.com, uh, docs.insecureshopapp.com. This is the app that vulnerable app that we have been using throughout our series. And today we are going to do this challenge insecure broadcast receiver. For those of you who don't know what a broadcast receiver is, broadcast which you like, which is an English word, you understand that to spread through to everyone like like you, you have broadcast messages on uh, whatsapp as well so what it essentially means is that you are sending a message and you are broadcasting it like let's say if you are on your terrace and you start shouting my name so you are basically broadcasting my name through your terrace to whomsoever are able to listen to your voice in the nearby region same way in this broadcast like uh, the broadcast in sense of android what that means is there are a few events that is broadcasted throughout the Android ecosystem and any of these receivers, so receivers could be services or receivers could be Android applications. They have their broadcast receivers hooked to listen to a particular event. Let's say for example, they are listening to a SIEM name whenever it's being broadcasted throughout the Android system. So as soon as a SIEM name is broadcasted throughout the Android ecosystem, they get uh, they get an intimation that hey, this is being broadcasted and they have a particular code that gets run on that particular like receiver so that is what a broadcast receiver is it listens for a particular bro broadcast throughout the android ecosystem some of the common broadcasts are uh, here is a list of that android intent dot action battery change sticky broadcast containing the changing state level and other information about the battery so you might want to ask KSE what would be the use case for this. So let's say you have an app that is a, uh, what do you say, a battery meter, a power meter, something like that, which tracks your battery usage and what is the current state and all those things. Or like in your mobile app, you have a broad battery indicator. So that battery indicator basically listens to this particular broadcast event and updates the percentage of battery left accordingly. Then there's this battery low event. So if you have seen, if you have done a video call on WhatsApp, you could have seen that Sometimes it shows that the other person has a battery low or something like that. So basically WhatsApp is listening to this particular event or the battery change event and then they are, at the, they are giving an indication to the all parties involved in the call. Same way there are a lot of other these, uh, what do you say, these broadcasts when there's a reboot, when there's a boot completed. So basically when the system is started, it's called boot completed. So there are a few applications that would want to run as soon as the system starts. Let's say if you have an antivirus on the mobile phone then they would be listening to this particular broadcast event. So that is what broadcast receiver is. Now let's come back to this. So here I have my uh, JDX GUI already set up. Let me just start close these first and start with this manifest. So every time you would have seen in my whole series that I have always focused on reading the manifest file and understanding what is going on throughout this code. And this is very easy to understand, it's not a complicated thing. You just have to pay attention to details as to what all values, key values are there, even some values that are omitted. Let's say for example, in this one, what you're gonna see is that there's this uh, Android name, uh, there's this activity called About Us Activity, which is exported equal to true. It's on line number 55. So exported equal to true, It's it needs to be explicitly specified, otherwise, any Android activity, like all those other Android activities, those are by default exported equal to false. Earlier what used to happen, it doesn't need to be specified and it was by default exported equal to true. So what that means is any other application could call that particular activity. And I've talked about what an activity is. It's basically a screen on your mobile device. On your, so one of the pages of this application is called one activity. So 
एक्सपोर्टेड इक्वल सो नाउ आफ्टर आई थिंक एंड्रॉइड सिक्स और सेवन वॉट एवर इट इज आई डोंट रिमेम्बर द एक्जैक्ट वर्जन दे हैव मैंशन दैट एक्सपोर्टेड इक्वल टू नीड्स टू बी एक्सप्लिसिटली स्पेसिफाइड ओनली देन दैट पर्टिकुलर एक्टिविटी कुड बी कॉल्ड फ्रॉम अ थर्ड पार्टी एप्लीकेशन सो लेट्स सी दिस अबाउट अस एक्टिविटी सो आई हैव प्रेस कंट्रोल एंड क्लिक ऑन दैट देन इट ओपन दिस सो यर वी हैव दिस पर्टिकुलर कोड as as always i would just start with this on create event so on create is again a life cycle event i have talked about it this in previous videos as well so this is the first event that gets called into this whole code here we see that there's a super function that's called that's fine then there's this custom receiver if custom receiver equal to null then there's throw on initialize property access exception and then it would just uh, throw an exception and close i think close this particular what do you say this particular uh, activity If if it is not the case, then there is a register receiver, custom receiver is being registered, and then there is this intent filter called com dot insecure shop dot custom intent. So I'll be talking about everything. What this is, what is a custom receiver, everything around that. Let's first try to delve into what custom receiver is. I'm pressing control and clicking on this to just go to the code. So yeah, there is this file called <coughs> com dot insecure shop dot custom receiver. it extends broadcast receiver so broadcast receiver is as you can see it's imported from the android base library so it, it it's a basically a broadcast receiver that they are registering <coughs> in this about us activity so if on the receive is an uh, life cycle event for these broadcast receiver if you uh, if i just show you here so there are two following steps to make a broadcast receiver work for the system creating the broadcast receiver registering the broadcast receiver creating the broadcast receiver you just uh, create a public class which extends the broadcast receiver class and then you also add this on receive event so that is what's happening here there is a custom receiver class that is extending a broadcast receiver and it is like do it's implementing the on receive function here there is a string extra intent get extra null get extra extra dot get string web url so basically it's trying to get uh, any extra data that's being passed to this and the key is web underscore url string str string extra it's the same thing if str equal to equal to null or is it if it is blank so if it is not either of these so if it is not blank and if it is not null then what it's going to do it's it's creating an intent which is calling web view to activity class which we have seen earlier as well there's this web view to activity it's loading that input to dot put extra in the url parameter it's loading this string extra which is being passed to this particular broadcast receiver and then it's starting that activity so if we come here and if you see in this code we have already talked about this earlier as well so if we go and see here there's this data dot query parameter url and from like it's trying to load this url into uh, if i remember correctly it's loading that url into this web view Uh, where is this? Extra dot get string URL here. It's being passed. It's in the string. If not Z, basically if it's uh, true, get string intent intent uh, intent six dot get extras extras two dot get string URL. It's getting that str and then it's loading it in the web view. So this is this last part is where it's like it's ba basically executing that particular URL or loading that particular URL into web view. So what we saw here in Android manifest there was this exported true activity which is called about us activity. In about us activity in the on create method we saw there was this custom receiver that was being registered registered receiver custom receiver and whatever this was the particular intent filter. So basically this receiver is listening for this particular event kind of thing like. com dot insecure shop dot custom intent. So if you go and see here, uh, so like the the these are the different kinds of intents that I showed that a uh, particular receiver could listen. But then you can also create your own custom intent, and this is the intent that's being here. So if you are broadcasting a message and that has this particular intent, then only this particular receiver would get triggered. Broadcasting custom intent. You can see that intent dot set action com dot custom total response dot custom intent, and then it's being sent. So what? So you would have understood the flow here, and you can easily understand that uh, what we are planning to do. So because this about us activity is exported, so you can directly call this one. Uh, like we can basically instantiate this one. So once this is instantiated, 
and this on great event is called this particular custom receiver has been registered we would send a broadcast with this particular intent and we would pass on the url value into this so that this url value which is being uh, like fetched from here it's being passed to this webview 2 activity and then webview 2 activity would use this url here and load it into the webview so like it's chaining multiple things right first the manifest where we found this exported activity we call this one we are waiting for a few seconds so that that gets instantiated once that's instantiated the broadcast receiver has been registered we send a broadcast onto that with this particular intent also adding a url parameter to this particular intent that is why because the custom receiver is trying to get the url parameter and then it's loading a webview 2 activity using this url parameter let me just delve into the code. I think that's already clear what we are going to do here. Uh, this is a Kotlin code. I have just gobbled it up again. I don't have a lot of experience with Kotlin and such, but I just put it out and I've just arranged this code. So intended set class name, comrade and secure shop, it's the same as the previous one. Then there's first the package name, then the class name. So class name is com insecure shop dot about this activity. So I'm starting this activity. Handler post delayed, send delayed broadcast and how much delay we want, it's 0 0.5 seconds or 500 milliseconds. This is because we are waiting for that about us activity to instantiate. What is the send delay broadcast function? It's a, it's again having an intent, which is com.insecureshop.custom intent, the thing that we saw here, com.insecureshop.custom intent. Inside that we are adding an extra parameter which is web underscore URL, which is a seamstray.in, then we are sending the broadcast. This extra zip gets string web underscore ul, so from there it's getting this asim share dot and it should get that. And then it should put it inside this, uh, like in, in it's creating another intent which is being sent to and called for the web view 2 activity. So let me just uh, screen share my mobile phone and then you would be able to see. So okay, this is here. Now let me just run this code from here. So it's being loaded and you would see that there was about us activity would display and then again it would load my asimstray.in website. Just a minute. It should be... It's still running. So for a slight second you would see this about us activity and then it would load the web view. Sorry, I chose the wrong device. Uh, this about us and then web view, it's loading my web page. So that's basically it. It's not a very complicated one. That is all there it is. Hope you enjoyed this and you learned something new. Also make sure to check out this website where the, the docs are, uh, this website. It also has the same video and the, this, was, this is a really helpful one. You can read this one. If you get stuck anywhere, make sure you DM me or ping me on Twitter or Instagram, LinkedIn, wherever you find me. Just make out a broad question and what all you have done and just send me that. I will try to answer that. So yeah, thank you. Stay tuned to our channel. Have a nice day.